Planet Dolan. From selling your children's concert tickets to packing them dog poop for lunch, we look at the 15 worst punishments ever given by a parent. Number 15. Embarrassing signs. The new form of spanking is publicly humiliating your kids into being little angels with this new popular punishment. It seems like every day there's a new image of a kid holding up a sign saying, I got bad grades, or I hit my sister, or I walked in on mommy and daddy in the bedroom. Okay, maybe not that last one, but it's still at epidemic levels. But is it really worth giving little Billy a shame complex because he didn't get an A on his history test? Well, if Facebook is anything to go by, then yes. Fuck you, little Billy. Prepare to be shamed. Number 14. Forcing hot sauce in your mouth. Well, this is one that would have your children begging for the old soap in the mouth punishment if just to get rid of the hot sauce in their face hole. This near abusive punishment was highlighted on an old episode of everyone's favorite fake TV psych, Dr. Phil, which showed the mother punishing the child for lying by burning away his taste buds and forcing him to take a cold shower. All because he lied over fighting about pencils or something equally stupid. Still could have been worse for little Tyke. His mother could have filled his mouth up with mayonnaise or Vegemite or both. Ugh. Excuse me, I gotta go puke. Number 13. Hacking your Facebook. Another in the long line of psychologically scarring your kids so they can learn what's good for them, I'll tell you what! This cyber age punishment involves hacking your child's profile and changing all their images to let everyone know that they're currently being banned from Facebook and to contact the mother to know why. Turns out the 13 year old was guilty of disrespecting her mother while her friends were around, which is an unforgivable crime. The embarrassing change involved placing red X's over the girl's mouth and all the pictures to symbolize that she can't keep her mouth shut. I'm sure such a public punishment caused no bullying from her friends later on because kids are great at ignoring stuff that happens online. Number 12. Sell their One Direction tickets. Well, when you find your precious little baby girls hanging out at older men's houses, there's only one course of action to make sure it never happens again. This one was pretty public after the odd listing popped up on eBay detailing the sordid story of how the kids had sleepovers with older men. So you'd better believe they can't be trusted in the pure sexual energy of a One Direction concert. That'll show those damn kids not to mess around, or it'll make them into angry teenagers who have more sleepovers with older men to get back at their parents. Number 11. Have your dad's face on your shirt. Wanna be a hot new trendsetter in fashion? Well, you too can have dad's angry face on your shirt for the low, low price of breaking the rules. This one you might have seen floating around the Reddit wastelands when a dad decided the perfect punishment for his daughter breaking curfew was to pull a mean face and get it printed on her new school uniform. I'm guessing he was attempting to scare boys away from his child with his scowling face, but I'm pretty sure most people would have thought the guy was a clown. Or maybe they'd want a shirt with his face on it too, I've got one. I'm the classiest guy at Walmart. Well, next to that guy in the mobility scooter and no pants, he's got me beat. Number 10. Forced Senate Watching Oh man, this is the best idea. Take boring politics and turn it into a torture device that's also educational. So this is another punishment created for breaking curfew by a dad in Cincinnati who must be one sadistic bastard. The punishment involves watching five minutes of C-SPAN for every one minute they are late home along with having to do a report on all the political stuff they were just forced to watch. I'm sure those kids were never late home again. Either that or it turned them into the 2032 presidential candidate. Win-win. Number 9. The Short Shorts Torture Well, if you can't force your kid to stop wearing embarrassing clothing, then you can certainly have the same effect by wearing the embarrassing clothing yourself. After trying to get his daughter to stop wearing short shorts, his 52-year-old father decided, Well, I'm gonna show you how stupid you look, and wore similar shorts out to dinner with his daughter. Well, that's one way to get your point across, I guess. However, the plan kind of backfired, and the daughter posted photos of her dad to Facebook, apparently relishing in his humiliation. Maybe next time he needs to wear a bikini. That'll learn him. Number 8. Forced Basketball Games Yes, apparently forcing you to play team sports is an adequate punishment in some parts of the world. This one isn't actually done by the parents, but by a juvenile county court of Tennessee run day school that forces delinquent kids to buckle down and play basketball. Aimed at being more of a rehabilitation project, it's one step away from being a dystopian death game. I can see it now. The year is 2057 and all children that break the rules are sent to the slam dome. Two teams enter, one team leaves. Will you slam with the best or jam with the the rest. You know, Space Jam predicted all of this. Number 7. A Good Licking 
This one's for parents who just want to weird the fuck out of their kids so they submit to your authority and develop weird sexual fetishes. This one is a story told by Hollywood star Rosario Dawson about how her mother let loose the tongue of fury when she played it up as a child. Covering her child in saliva apparently worked and considering how her daughter turned out, maybe more parents should consider it. But just remember you should probably have an age limit for when this type of punishment should expire. Or maybe not do it to kids at all, but hey that's just me, I don't want to go to prison. Or at least if I do, I don't want to be the guy that licked all those kids. I don't think that would help me out in prison too much. I want to be the guy who stuck up a bank or, I don't know, jacked off in a public theater. Something cool like that. Number 6. Shoot their computer. The most violent way of banning your kid from spending all day on YouTube and Facebook is to just take it out behind the barn and give it the old yellow treatment. <clears throat> the computer, I mean, uh, not the kid. And you know, it's not quite smashing their hands with a claw hammer, but it's on up there. I mean, at least top 10 material. This one went viral when the incident of the dad executing his daughter's laptop was filmed and put on the net for all to see its glory. The family was investigated by child services, but laptop murder isn't a crime. The police even congratulated the father on doing parenting right. The cops supporting a guy who shoots things to solve his problems. <laughs> Sounds right. Number 5. Sword Duel Finally, a use for all your LARPing equipment that doesn't involve hanging out with the guys that your wife calls losers. This loser decided his daughter was old enough at 16 to fight out their differences, giving her a wooden sword and shield along with a suit of armor before challenging her to a duel. The fight lasted two hours and the girl was bruised badly. Unfortunately for him, today's law enforcement doesn't seem to be open to you going medieval on your daughter's ass and the father was charged with assault. Well, I guess the daughter won that fight in the end. Number 4. The Old Dog Poop Backpack Oh man, if I had a penny for all the times I got to school and opened up my bag for lunch to find dog poop, I'd have no goddamn pennies. This weird form of punishment happened in LA when a child didn't do the chore of picking up the canine poop. So to teach him a lesson, the parents decided he would have to walk around with it all day. The parents were also charged with child abuse for making the boy sleep outside with the dog. So the next time your friend comes to school smelling like dog poo, you might want to stay the fuck away from their parents. Just saying. Number 3. Starvation Here's a punishment that'll get your kid to do their homework and save you money at the grocery store. At least, that's what the adoptive mother of three children must have been thinking when she decided to deny her kids food for not behaving. The torture was exposed when one of the children ran away and was picked up by the police. The nine-year-old was extremely underweight and suffering health issues from the ongoing punishment such as having the bone structure of a five-year-old. So yeah, we suggest not starving your child to get them to do homework, which if you need a YouTube video to tell you that, then you probably shouldn't have children to start with. Number 2. Diaper Them Well, you know what they say, if you're gonna act like a baby, we're gonna treat you like a baby, but perhaps it wasn't meant to be this literal. Yep, these parents decided that to punish their 12-year-old daughter for getting F's on a report card that they would force her into a diaper, shave her head, and make her run down the street. That'll teach her to fail gym. The neighborhood was naturally disturbed over the sight of a diapered girl running wild and called the police. The parents were sent to jail for a year over what the judge called an assault on her dignity, which hopefully means that'll teach them to not be terrible parents. Number 1. Kidnapping and here we get to the ultimate way to traumatize your child to teach them that they'll live by your rules or you'll goddamn kill them! Basically, for $40,000, you can send your unruly teen to a prison camp for moral reprogramming, which is what the Levy family did to their daughter Shannon, who was partying just a little bit too hard. The camp was focused on therapy, labor, and being a hellhole. Just the place you want to send your pride and joy to. It's actually a pretty underground thing that happens in countries where it's not reported. In some places, especially for homosexual teens whose parents want <clears throat> straightened out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Did you enjoy the video? That's fantastic! Did you know we still have a gaming channel? Collaborative! It's for playing it all and come look at us as we play some video games! Like animation? Have some questions about life and the universe you need answered? Come check out Super Planet Dolan. Danger Dolan and I will answer your life questions. Links are down below.